never going to African parties, and I was always in the middle, you know, doing my COSA. Then all of a sudden, she started doing my COSA. I'm like, girl, when did you start doing this dance? Some ladies, the minute they start seeing their period, they start taking folic acid and omega oil. Your friend will never ever copy, like want to be exactly like you. our very first episode I'm Woo. super excited to be here yeah on each episode of girls on cut we plan to discuss one interesting topic we answer one hot juicy question sent in by you guys and have these beautiful divas here to answer your question trust me it's gonna be wisdom they're gonna be spitting fire and wisdom you don't want to miss it and just before we shut it down for the day we go social where we go online we seek out an interesting mini or a video or anything that has gone viral and we discuss it right here we dissect it and we come up with different things that you should you know derive from that mini okay my name is chinonso arubai glamazon amazon call yes, me anything you, you want are. yes girl my <laughs> name is arike akimbabala i'm adorable sassy Ooh. witty Ooh, i exactly. tell it as it is I'm a superwoman and I am also a super mom. Girl. A diva. <laughs> oh, you guys are just so awesome. And of course, I am Beverly O, the Diamond Girl of Africa, giving it to you raw and straight, just like that. How are you, Beverly O? Oh, you guys have to watch the diva. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so I have this really interesting experience. So, a lot of us women have experienced that very, very awkward moment when you're sharing, you know, a very cozy time with your man and the next day he just drops this question no he didn't propose okay. he asks hmm, how many men have you been with Ooh. and you're Ooh. bummed like you don't even know what to say hmm. girl <laughs> what i would say is girl don't ask don't tell i'll tell you guys more about that when we come back Welcome once again to Girls Uncut and today we are talking about women being shamed because of the number of men that we have been with. Join the conversation on Twitter and Instagram at Girls Uncut underscore. We'll be right back guys. Welcome back to Girls Uncut and we just finished discussing whether or not it's a good idea to tell your significant other how many guys you have been with. <laughs> yeah. You guys, like that's very a touching topic because you yes. know how guys are wow and they are very judgmental. So yeah. I feel like you said we shouldn't tell, but then again, you don't want to lie to your man. So what, yeah, what do you think I, we should I do? Mean, well, the truth okay. is, like, as much as we would love to be in that romantic relationship where your yeah. man doesn't judge you, yes. the truth uh, is society is so mean to women. If are. you ask me, there's so much double standards. Yes. Like, the man gets away with anything. Like, he can, you know, <sighs> so have annoying. that much work experience and we're supposed to just go in without experience after how many years of our lives. Mm -hmm. Especially now that women literally wait till they are 30, 35, before they get married. So what's supposed to happen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know, earlier on I was saying that, I, I said don't ask, don't tell. Meaning, you don't want to ask him because you, it, once you open up that room, mm -hmm. he's also going to say, okay, so I've been with four women, how many have you been with? Especially when you've been with quite a number, just always quite a number of men. Especially when you, you know, I, I, I watched Amber Rose's show the other day and you know, she said, she, she had lost count of how many men she had been with. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. she said that. And you know, imagine a man who wanted to date mm. Amber. And then, you know, imagine her going down memory lane and saying, oh, I dated Tom, Dick, Harry, this, Oh that, my that. goodness. Come on, that's just, that's, there's no point. For yeah. me, I feel that, you know, it's not important. Mm -hmm. If you guys are in love, 
then you guys yes. should talk about your relationship and work yeah. on it. You can tell him like the few ones who, you'd, maybe like your ex-boyfriend and all of that, but your relationship shouldn't be based on who okay. you've been with or who you haven't been with. Yeah, mm -hmm. it really just mm -hmm. boils down to the guy that you're with, mm -hmm. you know, because every guy has their own personality and how they deal with things. I know with my past relationships with some guys, they're not so judgmental towards me because yes. they know that in their closet, it's a lot of skeletons. So, mm -hmm. you know, you can't judge me, boo, yeah. but I will never tell the full number. <laughs> it's not a lie. Okay, it's not okay, a lie. Okay, it's not okay, a lie. Okay. But the truth is, everybody seems to be saying that we should tell a white lie mm. or not disclose. But I feel like if you're in a relationship where you have to lie or tell a white lie, mm -hmm. then that relationship actually is questionable. Because uh, in an so. ideal world, mm. Mm, I object. he should oh. love you. Well, in an me, ideal world, he shouldn't judge you. So if you're going to walk down the altar with a man who's judging you, then there's a problem. Nobody then you is need perfect. to change your okay, so Nobody is perfect because nobody Girl. is perfect, you know yeah. what I mean? So you can say, am I going to judge or I'm going to judge. It really just boils down to your understanding or whatever. Yeah. But hey, I mean, I, I don't tell my guy everything because he doesn't need to know. There's some things that are in your past yes. and you should leave it yeah. in Old your past. I'm not, yeah, I'm not, away, I'm not bring know. them into You don't need to bring it to your new, fresh relationship. I'm with you, girl. It's a new I beginning, new you. lies. Because you don't have to tell him everything. Just new lies. Did you say new lies? And then, and you know, for me, you know, I'm. What I think is, what if that relationship doesn't work out? Exactly. So you would yeah. have spilled your whole secret. To tell exactly. you'd have told him, oh, I've been with okay. fifty guys, Thank and then you move on to the next guy and you okay. say, I've been with fifty-one guys. I, for me, I don't think if you're no, with a match, if, if you're with someone who's mature, if you've been with fifty-one men, then mm. you should just be like Amber Rose and say, I've lost count. But the problem Girl. is, you say I've lost count, you'll be like, how many? They have to be. Really? Girl. Some men may like that because <laughs> you're experienced. Yeah, you I guys, love experienced women. You guys are talking yeah. about losing count. Okay, so I read this story about some lady called Gwyneth. Montenegro, and she has slept with more than 10,000 men. Wow. So she, is that yes. even true? Wait, wait, wait. The, I, How is yeah. that possible? She was, has. It, was she alive? Was it, was it she, the she, lady? She is. There was a lady who said she wanted to sleep with like 10 men in a day. Is no, that, not that one. that one. I guess that one is trying to top <laughs> this one's um, oh record. Yes. So she's been with 10,000. Is she, she married though? Well, no, I don't you think she's see? married. But, of course but, she's not going to be married. But you know what? Hey, if my you God. plan to be with a man forever, then you guys maybe something else. you should not disclose. But if you're just, you know, <laughs> kicking it and, you know, just want to have fun, have yeah. a nice time, mm. then maybe you can disclose. Yeah, definitely. Or, you know, you can be honest. But like Arike said, you don't want everybody patting away with your secrets. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I don't know. People are scandalous. It's a tough world. Women. I mean, that's private. As long as I didn't date your brother or your cousin, come on. Why am I going to be telling you, oh, I dated yeah. one, this person. Is, mm, but on. how but, will we know if the girl has a lot of, a lot of body counts? Because you what? never can tell whose cousin, brother, uncle. Do you know, do you know the well, classic thing? The, the gay mind is that there's social media. And yeah. all thanks to social media, mm -hmm. your tea can be spilled at any day, mm -hmm. at any time. Mm -hmm. You don't yes. just want Aunt Linda to come for you. Because the day she carries your juice, all those brothers... <laughs> Seriously. Who have been there, done that? <laughs> but, 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 but you know what, they you guys, and, it's and the you know, woman. The thing, especially it's now when people want to put their wedding on Bella Niger, you mm -hmm. find out that women who have mm -hmm, a lot of men in the past would not want to go that way and put their wedding on Bella Niger. Well, because you don't want to open, your, open can up yourself. Come and, you know, mm -hmm. I, I experienced mm -hmm. that you don't open personally up yourself. when I was my past relationship, I'm not afraid to discuss my past, I don't care. But I was engaged to this superstar here in Nigeria. Mm. And um, when people find out about us, I mean, I was reading the comments, which is, which is not a good thing to do because if you're not strong enough, it will kill yes. you. Yes. Yes. It, it really yes. hurts, like I shed a tear, you know. So I was reading like, oh, this girl, that girl, she's always out, you know, I slept with her. Mm. And no all that way. Stuff. Yeah, he had mm. to write a song about that too, so, but we don't need to discuss <laughs> that, y'all. You know, they do that. They mm. do that. Even people lie on you about your, your body yeah. count or how many people you slept with. So yeah. just got to be mm. careful. No, you have to be extremely like, careful. With women, mm -hmm. anytime you're out there, they begin to say you're a hoe or mm -hmm. you're a prostitute. Mm -hmm. And maybe you're yeah. just doing your thing. You're just doing you. But the, the worst thing that people can accuse a woman 
for doing that she's prostituting or selling her body. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, right now, women are becoming Ooh. very empowered. Yes, have very independent. Feminist, feminist mm -hmm. out there. Amber Rose is doing the slut walk. I don't really know. I feel some type of way about, you know, I women for her. overdoing it. Mm. Like, when you begin to brag about the number of men you've been with, I feel like that's she's, crazy. I think yeah, it's pretending. Crazy. I think she's, like, pretending about that because she knows deep down inside you feel ashamed because, like, you walk out on the street and people look at you like a sex symbol like yeah. you're like her her marriage did not like last mm -hmm. yeah. what's his name again with um, khalifa yeah, yeah but khalifa. i know he probably felt like damn she's really a freak like mm -hmm. she she really like likes that you know <laughs> and then she's with another guy and she's like you know parading about it's okay to be a whore when yeah. it's really not because at but the end of the day women find that very empowering like they're really excited about the slot work it's like you know there's no longer any shame attached to the number of men you've been with it's kind of empowering but when we do it you know when it's done out of context like a <laughs> do you want to see when it's overdone do you when it's overdone, when it's overdone. but do you want to see your daughters parading in the some parade work. like okay. that it's, it doesn't give you that kind of glory as a woman. It doesn't, yeah, but, it doesn't but ladies, we also have to remember that every time a woman sleeps with a man, she's not sleeping with herself. So as her body count is going high, the guy's body the count is going high. Higher. So why do they yeah. shame us? Yeah, that's true. Why I do they know. shame us? I think we should why? find out why exactly why? they shame us when we come back mm -hmm. from this break. It's still Girls on Cut. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Girls on Cut. We're still talking about women being shamed because of the number of men we have been with. Don't forget to join the conversation at Girls Uncut underscore on Twitter and Instagram. Girls. Welcome back. Who run the world? <laughs> Girls. <laughs> Uncut. <laughs> okay, so, mm -hmm. so it's very interesting, this topic. I'm having a ball, like literally having fun, especially with Amber Rose and her slot walk. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like the truth is it's very empowering and it's very encouraging, especially to know that women are not judged by the number of men they've slept with. But the truth is, how exactly can we deal with our past without it affecting our future? Because the truth is, certain men can't deal with the truth. Not to say that men are insecure. We love you, my men. We can't do without you, girls. I'm caught. We love we love, men. we love, we love, we love <laughs> But the truth is, we want to, as women, discuss how we can deal with our past without it affecting our future now do we tell a lie or do we say the truth or do we you know just breeze over that conversation whenever it comes up we just say okay no i've been with some men but it doesn't really matter you're all that matters it's you it's all about you <laughs> <laughs> or what do we do i mean Are for me communication is key it all depends on who you're with. Yeah. You have to understand the kind of man you're with. Some men cannot handle the truth. They and cannot. if he cannot handle the truth, girl, you don't want to tell him the truth. Because he might just faint. So you have to <laughs> <laughs> So you have to know who you're with and then know what he can take. Yeah. I mean I'm gonna use myself as an example. When when I met my husband we did not discuss like he never even asked me who i'd been with because yes, that yes. was he didn't care about that exactly. but then i you know there are times when we went out and then there was a time i saw my ex-boyfriend and you know mm. yeah not the ex but like the ex ex <laughs> oh my god because <laughs> i made sure i told him about the ex okay yeah and you know i told him about the ex and then we saw the ex ex and i'm like okay so not there and then not not where we were but when we go home you know i was like oh that guy that you know him to say hi to me. He was like, oh, I noticed that guy was looking at you funny. <laughs> I was like, um, well, <laughs> when I was in uni, you know, when I just entered it, like, you know, like, that's the guy I was dating. And he was like, oh, right. Mm -hmm. No wonder he was looking at you like that. Okay. And, and you know, we kept, we kept him moving. Guys know, they know these things. Because, mm -hmm, yeah. But then if I was with a very possessive man, like a man who was always mm -hmm. jealous, girl, I would never say what. If he even comes to me and he says, <laughs> why was that man looking at you like that? I'm like, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> don't know him. I don't know why. No, okay. Yeah. So you, yeah. you need to know who you're with. And, yes, you know, definitely. once you understand the kind of man that you're with, then you know the kind of information you can, to yeah, you can yes. give. How much you can handle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beverly, oh, Beverly, oh. <laughs> what I would do personally is like if we have that conversation, maybe let's say during pillow talk, you know how you are with your guy and you guys are in a good mood. So then you guys just, you know, start talking about past relationships mm -hmm. and he mentions this person, oh, I was with this person or you were with this person. Maybe just slide it in there. But you know what? On second thought, 
don't slide it in. Because that pillow might just yeah. land on your face. Yeah. 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 I just like, I was going to say that. Okay, okay. 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 many times, many times <laughs> we women have been beaten by <laughs> things that we said in that moment. Exactly. And, and in that moment, we're so vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, mm -hmm. like, ask us anything. Yeah. You can't say anything. ATM number. Yeah. Ask me for my mm -hmm. ATM pin number. Yes, I'll give it to definitely, you. Definitely, definitely. But you see, the truth is that that might actually just bite you. Yes. Back. Yes. It's crazy. Yes. But does this thing people say? especially when it comes to men and women mm -hmm. so they're like the key that has opened many locks is considered the master key mm -hmm. and the lock that has been opened by many keys is considered worthless okay mm -hmm. um so what is the lock and what is the key, the key? are you getting get? okay <laughs> so so he's a g <laughs> Because he has he has opened like many locks, yeah. and then the woman is the lock, and she's she's a you know, she's, I don't want to I don't want to say the word. She's bad. She's an amber. She's bad. Yeah. Well, I won't say that. Get, she's from East Coast. She's, she's, I get it now. Yeah, but she's a has she's a has been. She's a has been. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. She's been around. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. okay. Okay. I got it. I got so, it. Okay. Do you do you agree with it? I know that it actually paints the picture of women being chased. Like that's what society really does expect of women. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, what that does is that for men, we we tend to grow men that are not you know very responsible. There's a lot of pressure that that so that sayings like that put on women, mm -hmm. so to speak. And then you have the, the, um, the younger generation or the men who are growing up, they feel like, okay, so they have to be like the master key. Yeah. And so they grow mm -hmm. up wanting to sleep with as many women. But the truth is, you don't raise your girls and then expect the boys to just exactly. do whatever it is they please because they're celebrated. I don't know. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Mm. You? Well, <laughs> I'm sure you guys are waiting for me to drop another bomb. Yeah. Okay, well, the thing is, it's, it's sad because men are looked at as G's, as bad guys. Mm -hmm. Bad guys meaning good guys. They've been, you know, they've been with a lot of girls and they look good. They're even more attractive to women when women see that they've, yeah. You yeah, know, women get, women get attracted to guys who have been, yeah. uh, more women get attracted to yeah. guys who have been around Let as me. against the nerds mm -hmm. who haven't been with. Okay, so would you want to marry a virgin? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't anyway, mind. Anyway, <laughs> no, I think honestly, you want to chin him. Honestly, anyway, let's let's, let's not digress. Because let's. I will get him to get that. Right. Right. She's going to school. She's a naughty boy. girl. Naughty I'm not girl. naughty. I just don't <laughs> think. I just don't think. <laughs> so the thing is, they are celebrated. And then, you know, mm -hmm. when a woman has been around, she's looked at as, you know, a, a yeah. bad woman Experience. or a woman who cannot make a good wife. But yeah. then there are ver people who have married as virgins and, you know, they became horrible afterwards. They started sleeping around because they felt yeah. they didn't get a taste of life. And there are women who have married after being with like 50 yeah. guys and they have made the best wives. Mm -hmm. So for me, I would say, yeah. don't judge anyone. Yes. Don't judge a book by its cover. Definitely. If exactly. she has been around and, you know, she ends up with you, a man, you know, just look at the woman that you married. Don't look at what you've heard about yeah. her. Don't look at her past. Look at her present and, you know, hope for a, a, a better future. Okay, I find what you said very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. But the truth is that numbers, just like you said, numbers can be very deceiving when it comes to things like this. You mm -hmm. can just give a subtle, oh, I've been there, done that, and I'm very ashamed of my past. You don't have to be ashamed of your past. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, you get the vibe. More like I've learned. Like I've, I've learned, learned, from, I've learned my from my mistakes. mistakes and, yeah, and, and I'm happy yeah. to be with you. You don't have to men give mention of the numbers. Your past isn't really important. And you know, they say, you know, all things that passed away, hallelujah, yeah. somebody. Mm -hmm. So if all things are passed away, then you don't have to give the details because yeah. you're talking about your future here. Mm -hmm. And then one thing that I also wanted to share was that if there was anything that you need to disclose and if there's anything you need to find out from your woman or if there's anything you need to find out from your man it's that they don't have any disease or yes, any STD. Exactly. Yes. You need to know their sexual Definitely. history because of that. And that with that, you can do a test. Thank God for you know all these test kits, mm -hmm, kits mm -hmm. that people carry out like they're so yes. mad, they're very crazy. And you're like, okay. <laughs> for some men, that'll be the end of the relationship. But even uh, like, that, once they so meet you, they're literally taking you to one lab or something. That's <laughs> crazy though. But yeah, that's very important. But you need even to find at that, that, even at that, it doesn't mean anything because even one time with somebody can just give you a disease yeah. a deadly disease so it doesn't even matter how many people just be safe be safe wrap it up
Don't even do it. How about that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. And if you right. must, protect yourself. Exactly. Yeah. But don't do it. Don't exactly. do it. No. Or, mm -mm. <laughs> On that note, we say, don't do it, sister. Don't tell. Don't lie. And at the same time, don't do it. Stay safe, okay? This is still Girls Uncut. Trust us. We're having a lot of fun here. We're going to give you some more dancing. We're going social. And of course, we'll be back with a little question and answer segment. Someone sent in a question, and I have my girls here. We're going to be answering those questions. Be sure to join the conversation at Girls Uncut underscore. Tweet at us. Share on Instagram and hashtag Girls Uncut. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Soon. Welcome back to the show. It's time for our question of the day. Girls, Yay! Are you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't wait. We've got mail. <laughs> okay, so let me read this. This came in and I'm going to read it out to you and of course we're going to talk about it. Okay. Here goes. Hi ladies. My name Hi. is Peace. Hi Peace. Hi Peace. I live in Uyo. <laughs> I'm currently going through a heartbreak. Aww. Very sad. We dated for six years and he finally dumped me. Mm. I feel really bad and bitter. I put in a whole lot of work in trying to make this relationship work mm -hmm. and now he stabbed me right in my chest mm. by proposing to my friend's kid sister. What? How do I bear this? Where do I start from? The shame is just too much for me. What do I do? Is this is really sad. <laughs> is I'm sure not. Oh, really? Oh, okay. mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds like uh, one. I'm to sure me. not. I'm oh, sure not. Sounds, I, need to, I need to protect my brothers. I'm okay. sure not. I'm sure well, not. But he, this is really sad. I mean, very, come on. This is sad. Yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely sounds like a Yoruba demon. No, no it's not. No he's offense not. to Yoruba brothers. You know, we love you. But the truth is, if he did that to you, girl, then there's no point exactly. getting married to him. Like, yes. it's better he did that now, now than you know you're married and he's messing around with your friend's kid sister. Jeez, and six he can see your sister. Six years. <laughs> six years. Is what got me? Six mm. years. Yeah. Like after like three years, that's even too long. After a year, and he's not talking about marriage or anything like that, um, girl. You know, you know maybe maybe it's high school love. You know? Well, it, it might and it might not be, that. but for me, I would say, you know, she she put in a line that really got me, where she, she said, "The shame is just too much, girl." Do not be ashamed. It's yeah. not about you. It is mm -hmm. about him. Yeah. For anyone who walks out of a relationship on you and begins to date your friend's kid sister, mm -hmm. come on, girl, you're that. lucky. You are lucky. Yeah. Because <laughs> what, no, what, if, yeah. what if you guys got married mm -hmm. and then your friend's kid sister came to live in your house and he started messing around with uh, her? But so why come on. is she in the house? No, you know how these things are. Sometimes, no, no, no. Sometimes She's, people it's the do. the friend's kid sister. People do. People do that. In for, Nigeria, yes. For example, your your friend's kid sister comes mm. to to serve or mm. to do something. So in your, house? Yeah. No, no, some people do. I I don't I don't accommodate people, but I know people who do it. Yeah. Wow. I know people who do. Well, I have my friend's I know. sister working with me. Shout out to her. I love so her people so do it. So yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I think I'm that kind of person people who, do it. Only who can be trusted. In but not anymore. After oh. this show, I've learned. No, <laughs> no. It happened to me in Nigeria. <laughs> back home, like when I was in mm. Houston, you know, that kind of thing doesn't go down. But when I cut, when I came back to Nigeria, mm -hmm. I started to see some things like that. That's the norm. But yeah. heck, no, no mm. house girl in my house. <laughs> Okay, no sleeping, sleeping, oh God's touching me. Oh, no, 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 been there with this man when things weren't so good mm -hmm. and I can also imagine that things are beginning to look up and right now it seems like you've lost out but the yeah. truth is you've got saved mm -hmm. somehow mm -hmm. somehow yeah. better now than when you're married they yeah. always say better a broken relationship than, than a broken, broken marriage, marriage. Mm -hmm. so thank God in all things find a way to just stay thankful yes. be yourself it's good to be sad and grieve let it all out you know so it doesn't damage your health but try to pick yourself together, move on, pick yourself Definitely. up, go, you know, invest yourself in work. I find that, like, I've always been, I've, I've experienced the greatest loss, if you ask me. And 
you know, I would even rather I experience a broken, you know, you know, relationship mm. than, you know, such a maybe such a sad loss. Mm. But the truth is one thing that worked for me was I knew what I loved to do and so I just immersed myself yes. in my work mm -hmm. and it kind of helped. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if it worked for me, I think it, it would definitely work for you. And glow through it, girl, slay all through. Mm -hmm. So that when he sees you, he's going to see what he's missing out on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't look miserable. Definitely. Don't look sad. Nah. You'll be fine. There's plenty of we guys. Got you. Plenty we of got men you. We got you. Everywhere. <laughs> Go online, Tinder. Is it Tinder? Ten mm -hmm. Is it Tinder? Tinder. Oh, Tinder. black people meet other black people. Mm. Girl, try white. Or you both. <laughs> Go that way. They're nice. <laughs> they're very romantic. Yeah. Exactly. And, and, and they if, are. Someone, that's what if, if, they if are. someone if someone wasn't meant to be for you, then I mean, come on, just leave him, let him go, let it go, let it and go. just move on. Mm -hmm. All right. On that note, I think we're done with this segment. We'll mm -hmm. be right back where we go social. Remember, this is Girls, Girls Uncut. Uncut. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Girls Uncut underscore. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. It's still Girls Uncut, and ladies, guess what? I stumbled along on Facebook. It was a meme that said, be honest. As a graduate, would you accept a monthly salary of 900K? Let me repeat, 900K <laughs> to be a gay man. Be honest, ladies, please. Jacob! Jacob! <laughs> Let me just start Jacob. by saying that Jacob has to be the most celebrated <laughs> gay man under the face of the earth or the sun right now. That we're even talking about him on Girls on Court. He it's, definitely yeah. is. He yeah. must be doing some other things too. Jacob. No comments. Not talking about <laughs> that right now. No comments, Jacob. <laughs> no comments. <laughs> okay, Arike. <laughs> Beverly. This might come as a surprise to you, but I will take that job with two hands. Mm, I, I will you. hold it tight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Shay. That job, 900K for one month. You know what they say success is? It's doing today what other people won't do so that tomorrow you can be riding cars they can never afford. Mm -hmm. So with 900K, I will take that job. You know what's so amazing about being a security man? You don't need to pay rent. Exactly. First off, because you have to be, you know, in your position, mm -hmm. you know, man in the gate. And then what's even more amazing is that you're going to be paid 900K. Now, a boss who will pay you 900,000 naira. In this economy, it's going to be a very, very nice boss. I don't know whether it's male or female. Hmm. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> but I will take that money. And trust me, that person is going to give me breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Because I'm nice, yeah. even to my security man. And sometimes, at least even if it's not dinner, it's lunch or breakfast. So someone who can afford 900K, ah, he will give me lunch. And I don't need to pay transport money. And I don't need to pay for house rent. Hmm. He. Hmm. That's money. That's an evil girl. I know I the way you said that. Hmm. But baby girl, I'm going to take that job. 900k to be a security man or woman? Yeah, <laughs> girl, I'm not, I'm not going to take it. No, I wouldn't. I studied law in school. I would never. I'm a lawyer, first of all. <laughs> Second of all, girl, ah, nah, that's not me. That's so not me. In this my hotness and i'll be opening Ms. gates and closing gates nah 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 i wouldn't i would never yeah. ever i wouldn't even take a million to do it no now, to be I a sick to, to be to be opening and closing gates no guys you think that that's the only job description of a security <laughs> man or a gate man no you are Washington. responsible for the <laughs> <laughs> now say something else. You don't want You're responsible for the security of that compound. I haven't even. I, like, can I even take care of myself? What if I hear <laughs> at night, and then somebody comes with a gun, and you know, well, armed robbers come? How am I going to protect myself? How am I going to pr protect the, you know, my bosses? I wouldn't do it. Then I will now have to watch cars again. Mm. Ah, no, no, no. Mm -mm. Okay. I'm sorry. You know, I am sorry. It's a no, no for me. No. But I feel like no. before you take the job, they will give you training. They'll give you a gun. <laughs> they'll give you pepper spray, oh, a taser. You know, they'll tell you how to open. Maybe it's a big house and you have a remote control, so you just press and the gate opens. Because mm -hmm. where I live is a remote control gate, so mm -hmm. they just press and it opens. You know. So why do they need you? So it's not that they, because they don't need cute, you, honey. <laughs> and you know, cute. and and for me, anybody who offers you that much to be a gate man, I feel that there's more to it 
That they they you haven't really so they haven't oh, really told you they haven't really I told care. you what you're coming I for. Really care. I believe there's more to that. I really there is more. I will just be the hottest, yeah. most spiritual okay. gay woman ever. You Thank know you. where the Bible says something about um, the watchman watch it, but in vain. You understand? I will just be praying that nothing will come near the compound so that you know exactly. I'll just be chilling, <laughs> opening gate with my koi koi shoe and looking for I will watch the car. Yeah. Okay. I'll take it for six months, I'll save that money and invest in a business. Do you know how many people are looking for capital? All the all the proposal you'll be writing to bank every day looking for something. Nah. I'll take the job. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> all right, guys. Would you, Beth? Girl <laughs> on a platter. You don't have of to ask me twice, <laughs> honey. I would take it. Nine hundred K. Okay, that can pay your rent in a couple of months. Do you think, think about that? What? And sit in the sun, open the gate, close. Who cares? Boom, boom, boom. I'm ready. Hey, nothing's going to happen on boom, that. Boom, 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 guys. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Girls, I'm cut. I'm stepping out. I don't know about you. I'm guys. stepping out, girls. I had so mm -hmm. much fun on today's episode of Girls Uncut. It's our very first outing. And I, I had a blast. It was brilliant. You I guys, would definitely want to hang out more with you guys. Trust me. Same here. If you want to be a part of the show, go to Girls on cut underscore on instagram and twitter and you know hashtag girls on cut will be sure to look out for your comments and your questions if you have any questions and you want us to feature your questions on the next episode please hashtag girls on cut i had so much fun chilling i had a blast i had so much fun so girls much. i had fun thanks i can't wait to be here again next time yeah, next definitely, week definitely oh. thank you so much for tuning in thank from you. us we love, love you, you. <laughs> Bye.